The hype is true. This TV is gorgeous inside and out. Some of the best picture quality you can get this year. And that comes as no surprise considering that until just a couple of weeks ago, this was Sony's flagship TV. Now with the recent introduction of Sony's Master Series, the X900F is no longer at the peak of Sony's TV pyramid, but that's actually a good thing. See, the X900F gets dangerously close to the picture quality of the fancy new Z9F, but for what we predict will be a lot less money. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best looking LED LCD TV most people can get without taking out a second mortgage on their house, which you should never do for a TV, by the way. But a TV is about more than just its picture quality, and this set does have its faults. As always, I'm here to tell you what it's like to live with this TV in hopes that it will help you decide if you want to live with it too. I don't need to belabor the design, the TV speaks for itself. Trim bezels meet a thin profile, tasteful choice of aluminum materials, not too flashy, feels quality. We have a duck feet style stand, which you can pigeon toe in if you need to save space, though I'm not a fan of that look. Maybe just have a nice entertainment cabinet or wall mount. There are four HDMI inputs, one on the side, three at the bottom, all of them HDCP 2.2 compliant, so you can connect multiple 4K HDR devices and you're gonna want to, trust me. The remote is, well, it's Sony's remote. It's an older style with a bunch of buttons you probably don't need anymore, along with newer features like this button, which calls up the Google Assistant. As I've said, the picture quality is outstanding, and that's thanks to Sony's processing. This TV packs the X1 Extreme chip, which among many other things keeps color accuracy tightly in check, provides very smooth motion, does a great job with 24p movie content, and perhaps most importantly, very judiciously preserves bright scene detail with HDR content, so what you see is closer to the content creator's original masters. You don't get quite as much punch in the face with ultra bright highlights as you will with Samsung's QLED TVs, for example, but overall, I prefer the more measured approach. Speaking of HDR, the TV supports HDR10 and HLG out of the box, but Sony did promise Dolby Vision was coming with an update likely this fall. The direct LED backlight system is highly effective, but you'll still get a little blooming, noticeable mostly when viewing in dark rooms. I didn't notice a bunch of aggressive dimming issues, but then I keep that setting at light to medium anyway, since I often do watch in a dark space and I don't need excessive brightness. If there's one place the Z9F definitely outpaces the X900F here, it's in off-axis performance. The Z9F is something of a miracle worker in that regard. Still, this TV is competitive with everything else in its class, so we're not gonna knock it too hard. So if you're still not clear on the picture quality, it's top tier, you won't find better. Samsung's QLED TVs tend to be a little more intense, but I wouldn't call them better. And LG Super UHD TVs offer superior off-angle viewing, but again, I'd say the Sony processing just can't be beat. Still, the picture quality is only part of the story. There's so much more to living with a TV every day. So how does this TV stack up? Well, if you're relying on Android TV to do your Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon watching, then it isn't great. I'm not a fan of Android TV, I've said this before. Outside of the fact that Chromecast is built in, that part is great. Mostly because it's slow, it's buggy, it hangs up on me frequently, and compared to Samsung's Tizen and LG's WebOS, it feels dated and clunky. Aside from Chromecast, the Google Assistant is probably the only redeeming factor about this system as it does help find content you want to watch and it can control your smart devices in your home. But so can other devices like the awesome Amazon Fire TV Cube. And if you just want a really great smart TV experience, Roku is awesome too. All that to say, if you choose an alternative to Android TV, you're gonna love every minute you spend with the X900F and for years to come. The processor in this thing is gonna see updates in the future that could very well improve picture quality even further and it's handling a 4K upscaling and HDR implementation is excellent. I mean, this is a TV you can be proud to own for years, not just the first few months of your honeymoon period. I highly recommend the X900F. That's our review, thanks for watching, and hey, if you haven't already, would you hit that like button or even the dislike button if you think I royally screwed this up? Leave a comment below and visit digitaltrends.com for the full review for even more info. And while you're here, check out these two videos we thought you might enjoy.